Because I am a woman, I am expected to be a boss, but not bossy. Easy, carefree, handle pressure with simplicity. Walk the road with a smile on my face with pace that is confident and alluring, even though I find those cat calls annoying. Because I am a black woman, I've already turned up angry, so why are you getting on so aggressively? That's no way to speak to me. I'm sorry, excuse me, please. You just stabbed me in the back and the knife is hurting me. Sugar and spice and everything nice. That's what island girls are made of, right? Because I am a woman, I am not supposed to have days off, but at the same time rest, juggle through the stress, or doctor's appointment and whooping cough, cooking for dinner before it goes off, answering emails, writing blogs, burning candles for ancestors, gone. Because I am a woman, I had to write this poem. To remind myself that my fashion is royalty and to always wear a crown. To never apologize for how I feel and to always say what's on my mind. To forgive myself even if I didn't get it the first, the second, or even the third time. To be upset and say no once in a while. And that some days just suck. And I really don't have to smile. But one thing that I will never ever regret is that I am a woman because I am a woman and I've earned it. International Women's Day held on March 8th every year highlights and celebrates the achievements of women. It is a day of reflection and a call to change. This year, the theme is Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. Then in the beginning, the Father made his plan. The greatest challenge for women today, I find, um, is being independent, but still having to play the role that you did before. So, mother, wife, cook, bottle washer and cleaner. Um, you still have to be everything for everyone and strong enough for everyone and yourself. And I think we look at being independent in a, a weird way because, because I'm independent and I'm strong to do things on my own. Doesn't necessarily mean that I want to. Um, I think being independent is that I can have my partner's back just like they can have mine. I think that the greatest challenge facing women today still comes in areas of equality with males, especially in the professional arena. Women are so often judged as being angry when we are trying to be assertive. So it's still expected that we are cast in this role where we have to stay in this box of how we are expected to behave. Where in truth, we have the same range of personalities as men. Some women are very strong, very assertive, and there shouldn't be anything wrong with that. But I think that there's still people who are very threatened by women who are like that. And I don't think it should be that way at this stage. It should have come further than this. There has to be more education or more open discussion about gender issues. I know that we've tried to start that conversation, but a lot of people are so uncomfortable about it. And in so much as the sister conversation about racism, some people are so uncomfortable about that. But being uncomfortable about it and not speaking about it does not mean that it does not exist. It is still there. And the only way to bring these issues before and to move forward and to improve is to discuss them. The greatest challenge facing women today is that they put themselves under too much pressure 
trying to fit into society's norms of what they should be. To change this, a conversation needs to be had and is a good place to start. However, women alone cannot have these conversations or make these changes in isolation. The biggest challenges that we face as women is the stereotype and the societal perception imposed on us that we have to be a certain way to be real women. The biggest challenges facing women, not only today, but for many years is being taken seriously. So we're put in this box and we've been in this box for decades. And we're being told who we are, where we can go, what we can be, what our roles are, what our contributions are to society. And this is not only what society is saying to us, this is not only the views of men, but some women have these views of themselves. And that's the biggest problem because if we see ourselves this way, how can we fight for real change and to be seen as equal? The biggest challenge I think women face today is a lack of support from each other. Oftentimes, we have to fight for a seat at the round table. We are left out of leadership roles. And when we finally get that promotion, when we finally get seen, when we finally get that book published, we struggle to have support from other women. They seek to, to make negative comments. They seek to, you know, degrade who we are. And I think that we honestly need to look at that. We ought to be our biggest cheerleaders. I think for women, it is a really tough time. Um, not necessarily a tough time to be a woman. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's tough out there and women are worried. Women are concerned. Women are stressed out because as much as we're working outside of the household and, you know, we're bosses and everything else, um, you know, we're still holding down the fort and many of us fulfilling those um, more traditional roles of being um, nurturers and caregivers within the family setting. The greatest challenge facing women today is related to mental health. Traditionally, women have their primary place in the home, but as more and more women have transitioned to working full time, the dynamics have changed. So women now have two full-time roles and this has led to burnout and it can lead to feelings of overwhelm. So what I would like to let all of the ladies out there know is that it is okay to say no. It is okay to feel that you can't carry the world on your shoulders and it is okay to ask for help. Women are resourceful and strong. And with that combination, the possibilities are endless. There's a shift in the way we are perceived and how we see ourselves. Look at the rising statistics of female-owned small businesses over the last five years. We are stepping out. Additionally, if you review the countries that are successfully managing their resources in this pandemic, you will see the vast majority are run by women. They are showing the next generation of young ladies exactly what is possible. I feel as though we have come to a place where when it comes to the fight for equal rights and justice for women and girls, the question for many people is what fights haven't you won? Aren't women and girls winning in Barbados? Certainly, equality has been reached. In fact, you are doing far better than men and boys. So what is there still to be done? And I actually think that that is a huge challenge because when you start to think as though the fight is over, that all is well, that is when people will really slip through the cracks and problematic notions and views that are strongly held and work their way into our systems of governance and systems of justice, uh, they will remain, they will persist, they will persist and they will destroy a lot of the gains 
that have been made. So I think that that is our challenge. Yes, we have been successful in many regards and our women and girls are doing well again in many regards, but there is still much work to be done and we must not drop the ball. Being a woman in Barbados 2021 um, is great. The opportunities are endless. Um, we're not persecuted and we have the chance to be anything that we want to be. We can achieve anything. In 2021, we are seen and heard. We are free to express ourselves. We are free to be in the same room as a man. And I am here for it. The future is indeed female. To be a woman in 2021 means that we are allowed to have our voices heard in ways that we were not afforded before. And not only in speech, but through creative expressions, through pursuing our passions in not only our personal life, but in our professional life as well. We no longer sit at the table with the big boys. We are now the big boys. I would have thought that we would have come further, but you know, things are still not equal today for men versus women. Men, women still have to struggle a lot to achieve the same things that males would take for granted. So for instance, say going to a job interview, some persons would assume that a man can do the job better than a woman. Their women and men bring different personality characteristics, different advantages to the table. Some people are just not comfortable with the way in which a woman might do things. care of yourself not just physically but also mentally mental health is so important we really do not focus on it but we really need to you are more beautiful and stronger than you could even imagine you just don't know just remember that you are more beautiful and stronger than you can even imagine work to live don't live to work the work will always be there but get out there live your life learn to embrace change and step out of your comfort zone Nadia sometimes it works in your favor you'll be very surprised but you must always remember to be patient and always, always be kind to your own self be true. Don't try to go so fast. Learn your work, <laughs> pay attention to your teachers, and love your parents. Remember to tell yourself that you love you at all times, no matter what happens. I would tell her that it is okay to make mistakes. You are not perfect. And the only thing perfect out there is God. So don't feel like you have not achieved anything or you're not going to achieve anything. Be a little bit easier on yourself and don't force things that don't fit. Embrace who I am. Love myself more. Speak up. Regardless of the odds you face, regardless of the face, you can do this. You were built for this. To be very honest, Nikita, you're going to be okay and you are more than what anybody says you're going to be. I'll have to tell her, don't give up. Keep trying and keep working on your dreams because just when you think that you have reached a stumbling block or a hard place, maybe when you actually surpass all the pain and trials that you've been through and knowing now um, what I wish I knew then is that it's worth fighting for to be in a different place, a different frame of mind um, that you could do anything you set your mind to. My 20 year old self, I would say just do it, be you, because that has made me the Jillian that I am of today. But thinking about it, the one thing that I would say to my 20 year old self, and if I'm being honest, I'm only saying this in case my two sons are watching. I would say to my 20 year old self, always listen to your mother. She is right 100% of the time. Happy International Women's Day. You see she is mother of our children, bearer of life. My queen, my friend, my woman, my wife. Come walk with me. Hand in hand, we will guide the youth unto the promised land.